for his first travel team, I was working at night. I would get off work, come home, shower, get in the car. Like, I would just get in the back and lay down, go to sleep. And my husband would drive us to Dallas so that we could be there for their 8 o'clock game in Dallas that Saturday morning, so. You did what you, you needed to do. You slept when you needed to sleep, but it was busy, but it was a, it was a good, it was a fun bit busy. It wasn't like dreadful. This is the corner. Okay. And we're in the third house. Okay. And De'Aaron ain't been on this corner in four years. <laughs> For De'Aaron, it was all, he's always a homebody. Like my house in the neighborhood was the house that everybody come to because they couldn't get him to come out so they would have to come to him. So this is the uh, first house that we bought when we uh, moved to Houston. The game room uh -huh. was the room upstairs right there. Uh -huh. That's where De'Aaron spent probably 80% of his time in that room. He would always want the game like the day it come out. I'm like, why can't we just get it for Christmas? Mom, that's three months away. Is there some kind of dinner food that he can't get in Sacramento that he just can't wait to eat when he comes home? Every time he go to Texas, he's gonna get Whataburger because <laughs> you can't get that in, in Sacramento. What's the favorite meal you make him? Uh, De'Aaron is so, like, don't eat anything but meat. He'll do salads, but I, I would try to give him cabbage and I would say it's warm salad. <laughs> and he say, I don't like warm salad. <laughs> Here we are. Cypress Lakes High School. And you think what when you pull into this parking lot? The house that Fox built. <laughs> Fox, look at him go. Oh, you don't like that? Woohoo! Delivery! What was his favorite subject? Uh, I think basketball. <laughs> Fox looking for three. The air. Fox wide. And here we are. Oh. Hey, oh, I ain't seen here. you in a while. <laughs> what kind of mom was she? Uh, she was a great sports mom. She was at every game, supported him, not only in the classroom, but in the gym. What do you think De'Aaron got from his mom? The look. The like. look? Did you see him at Kentucky when he kind of put his hair in a bun? Put it right next to his mom. They look exactly <laughs> alike. When you see that up there, how does that make you feel, those, those banners I with his name? I was here from the beginning. I may have missed maybe one, maybe two high school games because I had to work. See, I tell De'Aaron, follow through, because, you know, everybody want to shoot the ball and this. I'm like, if you follow through, you can guide the ball in. Oh! My mom's actually a 21-year breast cancer survivor, so that's just something for her. On draft night, De'Aaron has his suit lined with breast cancer awareness ribbons. You were surprised by that, yes? When I saw it, you know, I was like, wow, he actually did it. So yeah, it, 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 you know, it felt good. And it wasn't just, I know it stemmed from me, but so many other people were affected by it that it was like really overwhelming. Wow. The mirror we put together for him. Just trying to highlight all three levels. Be phenomenal mm -hmm. or, or be, be forgotten. forgotten. <laughs> this is uh this his saying, his own. I didn't make it up for him. I didn't tell him what to write. What De'Aaron told us, he don't have a backup plan. Because if he had a backup plan, that would defer me from my original plan. So that, <laughs> that was his lot in life that I'm gonna be an NBA player because that's what I have prepared myself for. Uh, please welcome Lorraine Fox. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Oh, good morning to you. Okay, so last night was the NBA draft. It yes. was two years ago at this time when your son was drafted. Take us back to that moment. Wow. Um, we're in Brooklyn, New York for the week. And of course, leading up to it, you, you're nervous because you don't know where he's going. You don't know what pick he's gonna be because the- and everyone has their predictions. Everybody have predictions and it keeps changing. 
And at a point you just like, no more, don't say anything else about it. Let's just try to embrace and enjoy the moment. Because you feel like you missed some of I the moment. I feel like I missed half of that week that I'm never gonna get back because I was so listening to all the talking in your ear as opposed to just enjoying. And for him, he wasn't nervous. He just like, Mom, I'm gonna get drafted. Yeah. I don't care what spot, yeah. I'm gonna get it's drafted. It's what he prepared to do. Yes. It was interesting when he said, you said, what's his favorite subject? Basketball. <laughs> uh, which is interesting because we're at such war, it seems like at times, between academics and sports. Like they can't coexist. They yeah, I mean, you and your husband are both athletic. Both are athletic. And you said when you had your kids, they were going to do something athletic. Something athletic, because you're gonna go to school, so that's not, I mean, if you don't go to school, the truant officer come and get you. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> they come get the parents these yeah, days, not so just the you, kids, okay? That you have to go, but anything after that, you kind of, you can mold and motivate your children to do something. It wasn't ever forced on him to do. It's something he wanted to do, and we just, cultivated it and watered it and, and look, what, it happened. And look yeah. what happened. It went to yeah. the draft. It got yes. drafted. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but it also taught him lots of things that he will keep with him for the rest of his life. Absolutely. Character. Uh, to know how to hold himself in public as opposed to uh, running amok. He know how to conduct himself. Um, you, then you create your brand. So all of this stem from Sports. Sports can take you in a lot of different directions, and it's just how you embrace it, and we try to keep him grounded. So he has the same circle of six people yeah, around Yeah, I, I was him. asking the green room, I said, when he got drafted, did you discover new relatives? <laughs> and what I was trying to tell her is that I am your cousin. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, but, but that's so important. He was, you know, insulated in the right way. Right. Absolutely. He has the same six people in his circle now that he had when he was probably fourth, fifth grade. He has a best friend that he's had since probably maybe his junior year in high school. But other than that, yeah. it's the same people. And it sounds like you raised a child who, although basketball is his career, is important to him. He's loved it, always wanted to do it. Uh, it doesn't define who he is as a person. No, no. He's still, he's still a kid. But um, well, he'll always he be mama's boy. He's always, right. he'll always be mama's boy. <laughs> right. yeah. But he has compassion for other people. Like, I'm not just doing this for me, I'm doing it to help out the community.